I purchased this hot comb from Walmart a few months ago and I paid less than $20 for it. It has five different settings that come in an increment of five. So the first setting is a one, then five, 10, 15, and then 20 is the highest setting. This morning I decided to hot comb my hair. My hair is in two strand twists. My hair has been like this, which would have been Thursday. I washed, conditioned, and then I just twisted my hair with some leave-in conditioner. Usually I apply some sort of cream-based gel or some type of gel um, to my hair when I'm twisting my hair. This time I didn't. I knew that I wanted to stretch my hair and I wasn't for sure how long I was planning on keeping the two strand twists in or if I was going to eventually decide to blow it out with the blow dryer. So by just using the leave-in conditioner that gave me more options on how I could style my hair later in the week. Having my hair in these two strand twists helped me to be able to hot comb my hair better. The size was perfect for me to be able to run the comb through my hair. Unlike flat irons, which you might can use bigger sections, you really want to make sure that you are using smaller sections to run the comb down. Don't be tempted as I have been in the past to think like, wow, it's a comb and I can just run it through my hair. No, you still have to section it off in small sections so that your hair doesn't get tangled or that it doesn't snap off and break. Now I use setting 15, which is the second highest setting. Once I was done with my whole head of hair, that's when I turned it up to 20 and then just touched up around my edges in different areas where I felt I really couldn't get in the first time. Since having this color in my hair, I've been taking a lot of efforts to make sure that I am maintaining my hair and that I am keeping my hair moisturized. And when I notice that my hair has become like dry, whether I did a wash and go and a couple, day couple days later it becomes dry, I'll just wash my hair and then blow it out, put on some leave-in conditioner, maybe a little bit of olive oil or some type of oil, and then braid my hair up in two big braids. That's how I've been preserving my hair, just making sure that I don't end up with a lot of breakage in the blonde area. I have to schedule another appointment with my hairstylist to touch up my root areas here, as well as trim my ends. Um, I don't have any plans to um, put any more blonde highlights in my hair. So I am going down a tone for, you know, coming out of summer, going back into the fall. So this took me about an hour and a half to do. The past three days, I have been binge watching um, the first seasons or all the seasons of Living Single. Um, so this morning, I just continue watching a couple of episodes and... I was like, okay, let me just go ahead on and hot comb my hair. It's going to last a little bit longer than if I was to blow dry it. Probably this week what I'll do is wear it in two big braids to work. I might wear it open some days depending on the humidity, depending on whether or not it rains. I feel like this is the best way for me to maintain and manage my hair, especially being that I have the blonde highlights in it so while i am open to hot combing my hair i'll also be twisting it up in the two strand twist as you saw earlier i'll also be blowing it out sometimes and not using the hot comb and then just putting my hair in two big braids um, and then also you know i haven't done any protective styles so far this summer yet um, but i also plan on getting some protective styles um at least in august so yeah so i am enjoying my color i've received lots of compliments on the color um and so yeah so i just cannot wait until i can get back to the hair salon get the roots touched up and also get my ends trimmed 